everybody. Welcome back to our progression grid series. Today is class number three. It's our longest beginner class. So it'll be 45 minutes plus, I'm not quite sure. And then the emphasis is gonna be on heart opening, back bending, but in a more gentle beginner way. So you'll need a mat and you'll need a bolster or a pillow. So grab that stuff and we'll get started. We're going to begin in a cross-legged pose, so whichever leg you prefer on top is fine or in front is fine. Let's just take a moment to place our hands on our knees, roll our shoulders up and down our back. Your inhales will lift your spine, lift the crown of your head up. The exhales will be really long and ground you into this moment. Inhale for length. Exhale, navel to spine. One more breath, just like this. If your eyes were closed, go ahead and open them. Inhale, reach your arms out wide to the side. Exhale, round them in front of you. Give yourself a little hug. Inhale, reach your arms high overhead. Puff your chest out a little bit. Exhale, hands behind you. So you'll prop onto your fingertips. Inhale, lift your chest, drop your head back. Exhale, back to center. That's our first little movement meditation. This class is gonna be pretty repetitive we'll do multiple reps of a few things. So it should feel really good. Just let yourself get grounded, get centered into the moment and make it a movement meditation. So inhale, arms out wide. Exhale, give yourself a hug, opposite arm on top. Round and curl everything in. Inhales, expand you, arms overhead. You might hear a few cracks. Exhale, fingertips behind you. Inhale, puff that chest up, drop your head back. Exhale, back to center. And you can also close your eyes for this one. I think it feels nice. Inhale, arms out to the side. Exhale, round it in. Arms hug your back, head drops. Inhale, arms overhead, reach it up. Feel the space between each vertebra increase. Exhale, fingertips behind you. Inhale, puff the chest up. Draw the shoulder blades down your back. Exhale through center. Let's switch the cross of our legs. So whichever one was in front, put it behind. Root through both sit bones. Inhale, arms out wide. Palms facing forwards. Exhale, draw your ribs into your spine, round and curl. Inhale, reach your arms overhead, look up. Exhale, hands behind you. Inhale, lift your chest, expand through your collarbones. Exhale through center. Two more times. Inhale, reach it out. Exhale, give yourself a hug, curl and round everything into a tiny little ball. Inhale, reach your arms overhead. You can look up if that feels okay, and exhale, fingertips behind you. Inhale, puff your chest up. Roll your shoulders back. And exhale through center. Let's do one more. Fingertips wide in either direction. Inhale, deep breath. Exhale, hug yourself, round in. Inhale, arms overhead. Extend, extend, and exhale, fingertips behind you. Inhale, puff your chest up, drop your head back. And exhale, come through center. Let's take two breaths, just to normalize our pattern. Hands on knees, close your eyes down. Now 
place your right fingertips out to the side. Inhale, sweep your left arm over to the right. Nice side bend. And exhale, grab a hold of the outside of your right skull with your left hand. Bring your left ear over to your left shoulder for a nice neck stretch. Inhale, plant your left fingertips, right hand overhead. Side stretch. Exhale, right hand grabs your skull, gently tugs it over, right ear to right shoulder. Drop your right hand, inhale, left arm over. Exhale, left hand grabs the head, left ear to left shoulder, stretching through the right side of your neck. Inhale, right arm overhead. Exhale, bring your right ear over to your right shoulder. Gentle overpressure here, nothing extreme. Inhale, drop your right fingertips, lift your left arm overhead, over to the side, breathe into your side ribs. Exhale, left hand grabs the outside of the right temple, pulls left ear to left shoulder. Drop your left fingertips, inhale, sweep your right arm over. Exhale, right hand grabs left temple, gently brings it over for a stretch. Inhale, sweep your left arm over, and now we'll stay. So spend a few breaths to really expand the space between each rib, and between your lower ribs and your hip bones. If you want, you have the option of gaze up as well. So inhales reach you up and over. Exhales ground your left sit bone just as evenly as your right. Inhale reach up and over. Exhale sink through that left sit bone. Good. Keep your head tilted to the right. And let's hold this stretch for a few breaths. Your hands can rest wherever is comfortable for you. If you liked the feeling of that gentle overpressure, take that option. And we're gonna take little semicircles. So let your chin draw a half circle, drop your chin to your chest, roll your right ear to your shoulder, and back. So you're gazing up towards the sky. And then a little half circle over to the right so your chin goes to your chest. Bring it back up again, right ear to right shoulder and then gaze up. And exhale, right ear to right shoulder, tuck your chin to your chest. One more inhale, roll it back. And exhale, bring it forward. And we're gonna switch sides. So left fingertips crawl out to the left. Inhale, reach your right arm over to the left. So really pay attention to what your breath is doing. Are your breaths shallow? Does it only stay in your chest or only in your belly? Let's try to expand that outwards into the side and into your ribs. Inhale, reaches your right arm up and over further. Exhale, sinks your right sit bone down. Inhale, reach a little further, a little higher. Exhale, ground evenly through your pelvis. One more breath here. Most expansive one yet, sip in a little more air. Exhale, release your right arm down to wherever is comfortable. And keep your left ear to your shoulder. Now roll your head down, tuck your chin to your chest. Inhale, roll your left ear to your left shoulder and drop your head back if that's comfortable. Take a really small circle, a small range of motion. If you have any neck pain or if you're just getting started in the morning, 
Listen to your body. Exhale, drop your chin to your chest. Inhale, roll left ear to left shoulder and drop your head back. Exhale, chin to chest, nice semicircle action. Inhale, back again. Opening up through your collarbones as you go. One more, exhale down. Inhale, up. Good, come back to center. Grab your bolster or pillow if you have one. We're gonna sit on this. So, bring it behind your thighs, resting on your calves, like this. And we'll take just a few breaths to focus on a three-part breath. So what that means, doesn't necessarily matter the order that you do it. I've read different things. Most things will have you say, fill your belly first, then your ribs, then your chest. But the point is, is that our breath is 360 degrees horizontal and vertical. So we're focusing on, yes, filling the belly, letting the belly button poke out, but also letting the ribs expand outwards and then the chest rise as well. So find what order of that feels good. A lot of people do enjoy the lifting of the belly first, so we can try that. So inhale in through your nose. Let your belly pull out against your waistband. Let your ribs expand outwards. And then let your chest rise, your collarbones reach up towards your chin slightly. And then big exhale, let your collarbones drop. Bring your ribs in towards your spine and drop your belly button in towards your spine as well. Inhale, poke the belly out. Inhale in through your nose. Ribs expand. You might hear a few cracks as well. I think it feels really good. Chest rises and pokes out towards your chin. Exhale out through the nose. Let your chest fall. Let your ribs come in and let your belly drop. Let's do two more on your own time with your own breath. Final breath. We'll take a little twist now. So inhale, reach your left arm behind you. Your right arm can place on your thigh or in front of you. Exhale, drop your left hand down behind you. Inhale, reach your right arm over. So we're back bending and looking to the side. The bolster is there to support us. Exhale, back through center. Do a little sit up to come back up. Inhale, reach your right arm back, your left arm forwards. Exhale, drop your right fingertips back. Place a block behind you too if you need a little more space. Inhale, reach your left arm overhead. Gaze to the back right corner of your mat. And exhale down. We're gonna take another variation, the second breath round, but then we can pick which one feels better. So inhale, reach your left arm back. Gaze follows. Exhale, drop your left fingertips. Inhale, reach your right arm overhead. This time, bridge your hips up. Exhale, down. Do a little sit up to come to center. Inhale, reach your right arm back, left arm forward. Exhale, drop your right fingertips back to mat or block. Inhale, reach your left arm overhead and bridge your hips up. You should feel this a ton along the opposite side of the front hip. And exhale back to center. So take whichever variation feels good, whether you leave the hips supported on the bolster or you bridge up with your hips. I think they both feel great. So you do you. Inhale, reach your left arm back. Exhale, drop it to the mat. Inhale, right arm frames right ear. 
Exhale back to center. Inhale, reach your right fingertips back. Exhale, drop them down. Inhale, left arm overhead. Gaze to the back of the mat. Focus on that expansive breath in all directions. Exhale, back to center. Last time, inhale. Left fingertips back. Take whatever variation you want. Exhale, drop it down. Inhale, reach your right arm over. Bridge up if you wish. And exhale, drop the hips. Engage your core to come back to center. Last one over to the other side. Twist open to the right. Inhale. Exhale, drop it back. Inhale, left arm reaches. Hips extend forwards. And exhale, drop the booty to the bolster. Come back to center. Now, bridge up. You can remove your bolster now. I don't think we'll be needing again, so if you want to toss it to the side, that is fine. So inch your way to the back of your mat and sit on your heels. We're going to move, roll through our spine now. So walk your hands out into tabletop pose, all fours. I think it feels good. Let's walk our hands, one hand print further in front of us. Inhale, we're going to come into cat actually. So you're going to round your spine as you shift your weight forwards over your palms. And then exhale, we're going to come into an active child's pose with a cow spine. So what you'll do on your exhale is untuck your tailbone, sit your hips back towards your heels, reach your chest forwards, and then drop your belly to your thighs. So inhale, we tuck our shin to our chest, round forwards. Exhale, we untuck our tailbone, lift our chest as we sit our hips back to our heels. So inhale into cow pose. Exhale, cow tilt to an active child's pose. Actually off my mat, so if you found you scooted back too far, you can adjust. Inhale, round forward. Exhale, tilt it and sit it back. Inhale, cat pose. Weight shifts over your wrists. Exhale, sit bones to the sky, reach them back. Lift your chest in the opposite direction. A couple more inhale, cat pose. Exhale, cow to active child's pose. Let's do two more with your own breath. child's pose as we wait for everyone to meet here. We'll do a slightly different pattern this time. So inhale, again, is cat pose, shift your weight over your wrist, round through your spine. Exhale, stay on your knees, hug your elbows into your sides, and lower slowly onto your belly. Keep your hands right beside your ribs. Bring your elbows up to the sky as opposed to flaring out to the side. And your inhale is going to bring you into an active cobra. So what you'll do is engage your back muscles, really lower mid and upper back, to lift your chest up and bring your eye gaze forwards. Roll your inner thighs towards the sky and press the tops of your feet into the mat. This is our active cobra pose. If you lifted your hands off, you should be able to stay in about the same position or same angle. That's our inhale. And then our exhale, we press into our palms and sit our hips back again to child's pose. So it's a four part breath here. Inhale, cat pose, round forwards. Exhale, lower onto your belly. Inhale, active cobra pose, lift the chest, engage the back. 
Exhale, press your palms, sit your hips back to child's pose. Inhale, wrap to cat. Exhale, unfurl onto the mat. Inhale, engage your whole back body to lift. Press your feet into the mat and then exhale, bend at your hips and knees, come to child's. Inhale, cat pose. Exhale, lower. Elbows hug into your side. Inhale, lift your shoulder blades back, extend, expand through your collarbones. And exhale, child's pose. A few more times here. Try to do a few with your own pattern, with your own timing. Focus pose later, so make sure you really feel engagement in the back body. Make it an active cobra. Let's do one more together. Inhale, round forward into cat pose. Exhale, hug your elbows into your side, lower onto your belly. Inhale, cobra. Lift your hands if you want. And exhale, press through your palms, sit back to child's pose. Round forward in the cat again, and drop onto your belly again. This time, bring your fingertips wide on the outside of the mat, and bring them just underneath your shoulders. Inhale, we'll come into a high cobra instead of a low cobra. So press through your tinted fingertips, rise the chest up, and then on an exhale, you're going to drop your left shoulder into the center and look over to the right. Inhale, lift it back up again. If it's too much to tent onto the fingertips, you can have your palm down as well, or somewhere in between. And then exhale, drop the right shoulder to the middle of the mat, look over your left shoulder. Keep the legs semi-active. Inhale through high cobra. Exhale, drop left shoulder in, look over to the right. Nice twisting action. Inhale, high cobra through center. Exhale, drop the right shoulder and look over to the left. A few more times here. Come back onto those tented fingertips if you can. Inhale through center. Pull the chest forward through the shoulders. Exhale, left shoulder down. Inhale, high cobra. Again, as much height through the crown of your head as you can. Hug your inner thighs in together to avoid a pinch in the low back. And exhale, right shoulder down. Let's do two more on each side. Inhale up. Exhale down. Move with your breath. Make it a meditation. Close your eyes. See exactly what your body is calling you to do. center, drop on your palms, and rise up to a tabletop, all fours. Really press the tops of the feet and press the palms into the mat to kind of reset the spine. Make sure everything's engaged so you might feel your tailbone tuck under a little bit. Feel your core engage. Just to protect the low back. Take a 
sway from side to side if that feels good. And then pick up your fingertips, spread them out, place them back down. Inhale, reach your left leg behind you. Heel presses into the wall. Exhale, tiger curl. Bring your left knee in towards your nose. Inhale, extend through your left leg behind you. Exhale, tiger curl. Knee to nose, navel to spine. Inhale, three-legged tabletop. Exhale, tiger curl. Press your palms to make more space through your shoulder blades. Let's do two more. Engage the back of your glute, back of your hamstring. Exhale, round it in. And then extend your left leg back. Exhale, last tiger curl. On this last one, find a way to come into low lunge. So if your foot lands here, gently assist it forwards. And then let's inch our right knee back a little bit. You can keep your right toes tucked or you can untuck them. If you need more space, please bring a block on either side of your left foot. I'm going to inhale, extend forward, expand through your chest, reach the crown of the head forward, and stay here for a breath. Now let's bring a block underneath our right hand. If you need more space. If you don't need it, don't use it. But I'll show what that would look like. So now we're going to inhale, reach our left arm up. Up, up, and back behind us as we tap our right heel. So you're actively bending your right knee, engaging your hamstring, and twisting open to the side. Exhale back to the front. And then you'll straighten your right leg on the exhale. So inhale, bend your right leg, reach your left arm back, tap that heel. And then exhale, drop your right foot, bring your left arm forwards. So nice sweeping, twisting motion, motion, inhale, reach back and tap, exhale back through center, inhale, reach it back, exhale back through center, low lunge, let's do it again, inhale, left arm up overhead, tap that right heel, engage the right hamstring, exhale back. And then we'll do one more and hold this one. So inhale, reach it, and then if you can, grab onto your right foot this time. We did the work by actively engaging our muscle. Let's do a nice stretch now. Going over the left shoulder. Your left knee can splay out to the side if you like more of a externally rotated lizard position, or you can plant the whole sole of the foot. Take a moment to just sink the right hip forward, stretch through the front of the right quad, and then as always, open through your chest. A couple more breaths. Engage your right hamstring, gently let go of your right foot and release it to the mat. Step your left knee back into tabletop pose and move the block to the other side. Or really off to the side for now. Find your all fours position. Inhale, reach your right leg long behind you. Exhale, tiger curl, right knee into nose. Inhale, engage the back of your right glute, right hamstring. Exhale, curl everything in. Inhale, extend it back, line, long line of energy through the crown of your head and heel. Exhale, press through your palms, make more space through your shoulder blades. Two more with your breath. Inhale, right leg extends behind you. 
your last one, exhale, tiger curl, and land your right foot in between your hands for a low lunge. Let's inch that left knee back a little bit, and then your back toes can stay tucked or untucked, whatever's comfortable. Take a breath just to pull the fingertips back and reach the chest forward. Option to place a block under both hands or hang out on your fingertips. Or if you're really open, unlike me, you might be able to press your palms to the mat. Now on this, if you use the block on the other side, let's try it on this side, underneath the left hand. On your inhale, you're going to reach your right arm up and behind you as you bend your left knee and touch your left heel. Just open to the right. Exhale back through center. Inhale, reach your right arm up and back. Engage the back of your left hamstring. Twist it open and tap that heel. Exhale, face the front again. Gently drop the left foot to the mat. Inhale, do it again. Exhale, release. Inhale, reach your right arm up and back. Exhale, find its way forwards. Inhale, low lunge with a twist open. Exhale down, and then on this last one, we'll hold our stretch. So find your way, grab a hold of your left foot if you can, inside or outside of the foot. Then pull your right shoulder open, look to the back corner of the mat. Again, right knee, right foot can either stay pointed forwards or splayed out to the side a little bit. Let the left hip bone sink to the mat as you stretch into your left quad. One more breath. Engage your left hamstring, gently release your left foot down, and then you can place your block off to the side, you won't be needing it. Inhale, you're going to step your left foot forward to the top of your mat, and come into a nice forward fold. So if it's early for you, or if you're pretty tight, just keep a nice generous bend in your knee, in your knees. Drop your belly to your thighs. Palms can be heavy on the mat, or you can hold on to opposite elbows. Feel the sit bones reaching higher. Feel the crown of the head dropping heavier. On an inhale, we can feel the back of the hamstring stretch more. On an exhale, we can feel the space between the spinal segments increase. Now place your fingertips on your shins. Inhale, you're going to halfway lift to a straight spine. So if you're here with plenty of knee bend, that's great. You'll still get the benefits. Or you could place your hands on blocks. Or if you're really open, you could place them on the mat. But I like the fingertip to shin option right now. So that's our inhale. You're going to pull your shoulders back, extend the crown of your head forward in the opposite direction of your sit bones. So a nice straight line here. And then exhale, fold. You can straighten into your knees if you feel a little more open and warmed up. Inhale, bend into your knees, flat spine, fingertips to shin, and then exhale, Forward fold, your choice with your hands. Inhale, flat back, straight spine, crown of the head forward. Exhale, fold. Straighten into the knees if you're open. A couple more. Inhale, fingertips to shins, bend into your knees if you need. Exhale, fold. Two more. 
Inhale to a flat back, shoulder blades back. Exhale, sit bones reach high, crown of the head drops. Last one, inhale to a straight spine. Exhale to a nice forward fold. Take an extra breath or two here. And then root strong into your heels, roll up your spine one segment at a time to come into Tadasana at the front of your mat. Nice full breaths again. If you've lost your breath, always pause and regain it. As soon as we lose our breath, we lose our practice, so make that the focus. So we're going to move into some swim-like strokes. If you ever grew up swimming, we're going to do some kind of backstroke action. So on an inhale, you're going to do a backstroke with the left arm. Open it to the back of your mat and place it on the back of your left glute or hamstring. Inhale, reach your right arm overhead. Exhale, back through center, face the front of the mat. Hands drop by your side. Inhale, backstroke with the right arm overhead. Exhale, place it on the back of your right leg somewhere. Inhale, kind of a forward stroke with the left arm overhead. And exhale, back to center. Inhale, left arm back strokes. Twist open, exhale, drop it to the back of the left glute. Inhale, four, like a freestyle stroke. What did I call it before? I don't know with the right arm overhead, and exhale back through center. Inhale, right arm back strokes, twist open to the right, exhale, drop it to your leg. Inhale, freestyle, left arm overhead. Exhale through center. Couple more, left arm, inhale. Exhale, twist it open and drop. Inhale, right bicep frames the right ear, look back. Exhale, Tadasana. Backstroke, inhale, right arm back. Exhale, drop it down. Inhale, left bicep frames the left ear as you look back. Exhale, through center. Let's do one more on each side. Inhale, left arm. Reaches high, does a backstroke, big full exhale. Inhale, right arm reaches. Exhale, find Tadasana. Last time on the right side. Good, find your way into your mountain pose. Everyone meets up whenever you're ready. And then we're going to do a little half vinyasa here. So inhale, sweep your arms overhead. Have sun salutation. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Ooh, my hamstring. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands and step back into plank pose. And lower onto your belly. Inhale your cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog, press through the palms, roll over your toes, send your hips high. Take a moment to pedal out the feet, walk out your dog, drop one heel and then the other to the mat. All the while engaging through your arms and wrapping your outer armpits down. Good, find a still shape in the next breath or two. Inhale, three-legged dog, lift the left foot high. Exhale, bend your knee and open your hip so your pelvis faces the left. Inhale, step it forward, left foot between your palms for a runner's lunge. And then exhale, plant your left foot strong. Step your right foot forward, 
if you can balance on that one foot. So from here we'll move into some mini dancer, mini airplane variations to really engage the whole back body. So if you're hovering on the left, or if your right foot is hovering, you're balancing on your left foot, we're going to inhale, cactus our arms out to the side, so that means you make a goal post shape, 90 degree bend, as you press your right heel towards the back. Exhale, come back to center, hover that right foot. Inhale into airplane, so you're going to hinge forward at your hips. Send your right leg high, your arms out to the side. And exhale back through center. If any of this is ever too much, please drop your back foot as kind of a kickstand. You can still create the same opening motions in both positions, just with a little more balance support. So let's do that again. Inhale into your mini dancer. So pretend as if your right heel could touch the back of your skull. Exhale through center. Hover that right foot still if you can. Inhale, airplane, arms up to the side, right heel behind you, straight spine. And then exhale, plant your hands and your right foot, step back to plank and lower onto your belly. Now we're going to move into locust pose, untuck your toes, roll your inner thighs up to the sky, hands down by your side. On an inhale, you're going to do that same motion as you did in Cobra. So you're going to lift your forehead, roll your shoulders down your back, press your chest forwards. Arms are hovering with palms facing each other or palms facing down, whatever is comfortable for you. And then on your next inhale, you're going to lift your feet, your knees, the tops of your thighs from the mat. This is locust pose. Everything is zipping in, everything is super engaged. Lift a little higher and exhale. Hands to the mat, tuck your toes. Inhale either through plank or child's pose. Exhale, downward facing dog. Other side, inhale, right leg up, three legged dog. Exhale, bend your knee, open your hip. Inhale, step right foot forward between the hands, runner's lunge. Root through your right foot, exhale, come to stand, left foot hovering if possible. Inhale, you can either kickstand your foot or not, mini dancer. Cactus your arms out, press your left heel back. Exhale through center. Inhale, airplane, hinge at your hips, arms out to the side, left leg behind you. Exhale, center. One more time of each. Drop your foot if you need. Inhale, left heel touches the back of your head if you can. Just kidding. Exhale through center. Inhale, airplane pose. Everything is super engaged in the back body. Exhale, plant your hands and your left foot. Step back to plank and lower onto your belly. Arms down by your side. Take a moment to prepare. Inhale, lift into your locust. So if you want to start with just the chest and the arms and the forehead, great. If you're ready, lift your legs as well. One full breath. Exhale down, plant your hands, tuck your toes. Find your way into downward facing dog. We're gonna do that little sequence one more on each side. So from downward facing dog, inhale, left leg high. Exhale, bend your knee, open your hip. Inhale, step it forward for runner lunge. And exhale, balance on your left foot, come to stand. Inhale, mini dancer, cactus your arms, lift your chest, engage your right glute. Exhale, center. Inhale, airplane, hinge at your hips, right heel is back, arms out to the side, straight body line. Exhale through center. I'll show you what that looks like with the kickstand. Inhale, cactus your arms out, lift your chest, drop your head back. Exhale through center. And then inhale, you would still hinge at the hips, 
Extend your fingertips out to the sides. Engage your back body. And this time, plant your hands lower onto your belly. Extend your arms by your side. Untuck your toes. Zip your inner thighs together. Inhale, lift your forehead. Drop your shoulders down your back. Lift your chest. Exhale, stay. Inhale, lift the tops of your feet and thighs. Locust pose. Exhale, plant your hands, tuck your toes. Find your way into downward facing dog. Give everyone a breath just to meet up. Root your left toes on your next inhale, right heel high. Three-legged dog, exhale, bend your knee, open your hip. Inhale, step it forward, runner's lunge. Exhale, come to stand, root strong through the right foot. On this first one, I'll show what the kickstand is, so just drop your left toes back for balance. Inhale, cactus through your arms. Lift your chest, exhale, back through center. Inhale, hinge at your hips, so stick your booty back. Arms out to the side for this airplane variation. Exhale through center. Let's do the balance on this last one. Inhale, find your mini dancer, left heel to head. Really expand through your chest. Exhale, everything drops, but you're still hovering. Inhale, airplane. Arms out to the side, left leg back. Exhale, plant your hands, lower onto your belly. Next inhale, lift you up into locust. All in one go, and hold for three breaths. Engage the glutes to lift the legs higher, roll the shoulder blades back to lift the chest more forward. Gaze is a few inches in front of your nose. One more breath, lift a little higher, and exhale, drop it down, good job. Just lay one ear to the mat and catch your breath. Now if there's any stretches you feel like you want to end with before we do our one collective final stretch, please pause the video and do that if you need any cool down. Otherwise, grab two blocks, which I probably didn't tell you you needed at the beginning, but it would come in handy. Otherwise, you can take Supta Baddha Konasana, which means you're just laying on your back with the soles of your feet touching and your knees splayed out to the side. But let's take a supported one in fish pose. So you're going to, since we're focusing on heart opening, this is going to be a nice, gentle, restorative heart opener. First block. Put it on its middle height. And that's gonna go in between your shoulder blades or just below your shoulder blades. The other block, place it on its lowest height and your head is gonna relax on that. So find a minute just to shimmy into your position. Once you find it, it feels amazing. It might just take a few trial and errors to get there. So your blocks are creating a T shape. Lay your head back. Move the bottom one a little lower if you need. And now we air out. So I like to place the soles of my feet together and again splay my knees out to the side for a fish. Supta Baddha Konasana variation. And just relax into this. Arms are just heavy by your side, palms facing up. Really expansive through your whole chest, through your collarbones, the front of your shoulders. In the 
this pose. Let's regain our nice deep breaths. So try to make them three part. Try to make them into this whole cavity if you can. expand you and air you out. The exhales drop you heavy into the box, into the mat. breaths here. Open your heart just a little more. Drop into this pose just a little more. can prop on your left elbow. Roll onto your left side. Try and make it as gentle as possible off of that bottom block. Your head's probably still resting on the top one. That's fine. Then press up into a seated position. Hands come onto your knees. One big final inhale together. One big exhale. Hands at heart center. Namaste. All right, guys, that was our longest beginner class. Hope it felt wonderful. I love tons of movement through the spine, lots of heart opening and twisting, so I hope that felt great. Next, we have our intermediate series, or part of this series. So. If you want to go back and practice any of these beginner ones a few times before you feel ready, please do that. Um, or if you just want to come back to this class and visit whenever you need it, that is great too. So join me for the next class. Please like and subscribe to my channel and share this video. And also, please don't forget that we have an Awakened Movement community or collective. So every month, um, you'll get four extra yoga videos, one meditation, and one workout probably a kettlebell workout, and one live chat session per month. So I just want to create a community of all of us coming together. It's $20 a month, but that's the price for one yoga class if you go to a drop-in class. And you're getting four yoga classes, a meditation, a workout, and community. So please consider joining that. The info is below, and I will see you guys next time.